Hello world. Now welcome to our first lesson in programming here. Um, before we get started, let's uh, download the software that we're going to be using here. Um, we're only going to be using one piece of software here. Now all you got to do is just go to the website here. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Um, and it'll jump you right to this page here. Now, um, I posted the link below the video on my web page, and it should be in the description as well, in the description on the YouTube channel if you're watching it from the YouTube channel. Now, I recommend you watch these videos from my um, website, but it doesn't matter. Really, the only reason, because you can see all my source code that you can copy and paste if you watch it from my uh, my website. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, you already copy and paste, and, and you jump to this page here. Then um, just just click this link. Actually, uh, then let's just scroll down here at the very bottom here. You should see a, a Visual C plus plus two thousand ten Express. You click it. Okay. And now when you click it, you get a couple overviews here. What you can do, you can select a language. Um, I'm going to be using English. And then you click install now. Now you might get a pop-up blocker, you might get a couple of things here, but if you're using Google Chrome here, you can just click it here. Uh, program name, you click yes. Download it from the internet, yes. It starts downloading. Now if you're using the uh, Internet Explorer here, this won't come up unless you have Norton 360. Now if you're using the Norton... Um, if no, if you're using Internet Explorer here, you might get a pop-up blocker right up here. You'd click, you'd right-click on it and click Download File. Then you would you can say, "I have read and accept these terms here." Just click Next. And this is the only thing that we need to install, just to get started here. Now, what we're installing here is called an IDE. There are, and it stands for Integrated Development Environment. Now, there are uh, many different IDEs. I am choosing to use Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express. Now, there's there's a couple others. You know, uh, for instance, there's Code Blocks. I used that one before. There's Dev C++. Sometimes people use that. I haven't used it. But just you, you don't necessarily have to have Visual C++ 2010 Express to follow along these, with these tutorials. It might be a little easier to follow along if we're using the same environment. But C++ is still C++. But you need a compiler here to be able to um, compile our code. Another one you could use is Sigwin. Yeah, that's a little bit more complex to use, but you can use it. But this should be the easiest to use. It'll keep things simple. Well, that's just my opinion. I don't I don't use too many different IDEs. But so that's what you need and then when you're done when this uh is done installing and you install it successfully. Um, move on to lesson one. And uh, from lesson one, I'll show you how to open up a project and how to get started. But that's pretty much all this is. So we're in, that's what we're doing. So. Um, Actually, uh, before I end this video here, if you're already installing, you can go ahead and close this here. But if those of you who don't like Google Chrome, um, I would uh, go ahead and uh, I'm going to open up the uh, Internet Explorer because I just transferred from a from Internet Explorer to a Google Chrome. It's going a lot slower. Um, Google Chrome is 
Google Chrome seems a lot faster to me. I think it's a lot faster. But this is taking an hour. Maybe it's just the website. Let me paste this website. Maybe it'll go faster if I. Alright, well, it's going a little slow right now, so I'm just going to end this video. But, um, it's installing and it's going to take a little bit to install. And when it's done installing, we're going to move on, so there's not too much in this video here, so we're already past the first step. Our next, uh, in lesson one, we're going to be writing our very first program. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Eh. I, I hope uh, you didn't have any problems downloading this. Um, well, let's just move on to lesson one.